What's happening? Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at Game 6 between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Los Angeles Kings. Now, Game 5 kind of went as we planned. Uh, obviously, cashed in, in the over, and I also mentioned that I thought the Blackhawks would win. Uh, but when you take a look at Game 6, I don't think uh, a whole lot of positives are coming over to Game 6 for the Blackhawks. A little bit disappointed with the effort, to be honest. Um, they did get the win. But you would figure that Chicago, the defending Stanley Cup champions, backs up against the wall, needing a win. You know, they get the early goal in game number five, they build a 3-1 lead, but they eventually blew it. And that's a really bad sign in my books, kind of like we saw in the Eastern Conference Final. You know, Habs in a very similar position. Um, you know, they get the early lead in the game. Uh, they're up big. Uh, but, of course, the Rangers came back in that one. And the Kings came back in this one. So I really think that the fact that the, the Blackhawks can't slow down the Kings for now. What are we talking? Uh, the fourth game in a row. This is bad news. The Kings were the best defensive team in the NHL this regular season, allowed 2.05 goals per game, um, and you know, when the, the key for them is the offense. We talked about this probably for the last three years here on SBRForum.com. When the Kings get their offense going, when they can get to three goals per game, they're virtually unbeatable. Right now, they're getting to four goals per game. They've scored, uh, they scored four in game five in Chicago, uh, and really, they, since game two, since the light bulb went on in game two, they've done whatever they've wanted against this Blackhawks team. Corey Crawford's been struggling. The Blackhawks' blue line is not doing a whole lot to help them out. Those Kings four checkers, those young fresh legs, they're skating circles around the Blackhawks and right now it looks like fatigue has set in for Chicago. You know, we've seen this many times. It's the reason why, uh, you know, we haven't seen a Stanley Cup champion repeat since 1997 and 90, 1998. It's because taking that second journey deep into the playoffs after doing it the previous year, it's just not many teams have the conditioning and have that type of depth uh, to survive that type of run. And right now it looks like the Blackhawks uh, are a little bit flat-footed. Their offense finally got going in game number five, uh, but you know, take a look at the pattern in the series. I don't think that it continues into game number six. Uh, what I like in this contest, I like the over again. I think that uh, the Kings have shown a propensity for scoring in this series. They have no problem getting by Corey Crawford. As for the Blackhawks, you know, I think they can get to at least two goals for us, uh, and we probably get a push at the very least. I also like the Kings here on the puck line. Uh, you know, they've just been playing that much better than Chicago, and uh, I've really changed my tune here. I like Chicago at the beginning of the series, uh, given the series history, but the Blackhawks have not performed well uh, in the last few games, and it doesn't look uh, good for them right now. So I like the Kings, uh, not only to win, but I like them on the puck line. The juice is too high a little bit for me uh, on uh, the money line. Uh, sh the puck line is really a flyer, but I also like the over in game number six. Uh, that wraps it up for this video right here on SBRForum.com. We'll be with you all the way through to the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, other than that, we'll catch up with you again soon.